Some video game easter eggs can be pretty basic, a Dark Souls bonfire here, a Pennywise balloon there, sure they can be cool to find but you soon forget about them as you move on to the next game. In this video I hope that isn't the case. Today we're going to take a look at 10 video game easter eggs that for want of a better term made you say WTF. So join me today as we summon a giant head in Rye Son of Rome, discover a secret room in Skater XL, plus many more unforgettable video game easter eggs. If you think you know of an easter egg that you think I haven't covered before, then the best place to let me know is on Twitter, Instagram or Discord. The links to all three can be found in the description. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at a series that is no stranger to bonkers easter eggs. Hitman Absolution is often considered the weakest in the series, an opinion I share. Still, it's far from a terrible game, it's just a terrible Hitman game. Anyway, in all honesty, three or four easter eggs from Hitman Absolution alone could have featured in this video. The obvious choice would be the brilliant hit and run ice cream van found during the end of the road mission. I personally prefer this easter egg that can be found during the Death Factory mission. So shooting the pig causes an exclamation mark to appear from the pig, hop across the screen and die. I mean it certainly left me saying WTF, the only thing that I could think of though is the Metal Gear series which is known for having exclamation points appear above alerted enemies heads. I could be talking nonsense, let me know what you think down below. Up next is an easter egg that requires you to sacrifice cats to create a giant snack. Welcome to Goat Simulator everyone. Well, more specifically the Goat Simulator Payday expansion. As was the case with Hitman Absolution, the Goat Simulator series is an easter egg hunter's wet dream with multiple top quality easter eggs for players to uncover. But this one may upset the cat lovers out there. Opposite the gas station you can find a building simply called Cat Sausage. If you search the surrounding area you can find two cats minding their own business. Take the cat to the Cat Sausage making machine to create the largest cat sausage the world has ever seen. Oh, and just in case you missed it, this sausage was made from 80 cats. If that doesn't make you say what the then I don't know what will. So this next easter egg comes from the Half-Life 2 mod Nightmare House 2. As the name suggests, Nightmare House 2 is an open-ended third-person game in which you control a goat as you jump, run, bash and lick your way around the various open world settings. Oh, that's the Wikipedia entry for Goat Simulator. Hang on a minute, let me just find the Nightmare House 2 entry. Ah, here we go. Nightmare House 2 is a horror themed mod for the Source engine where you wake up in an abandoned hospital with the memories of a strange girl haunting your every turn. That sounds better. Nightmare House 2 is so scary that even the easter eggs will put you on edge. At the beginning of chapter 4 you can find the janitor's room. If you destroy the pallets in the room you'll uncover a red button. Keep pushing the button and this will happen. So this is Yuboa from the 2004 game Yume Nikki. Apparently the game is free on Steam so feel free to hop on and say hello if you love being terrified by strange figures. This next easter egg is from a game that a lot of you probably forgot exists. Rise Son of Rome was a launch title for the Xbox One all the way back in 2013 and was ignored by a lot of people due to the messy launch of the Xbox One. Still, I think it's an okay game, it's not mind blowing by any means but definitely worth a play if you have Game Pass. Interestingly, Rise has quite a few interesting easter eggs including a ghost army, and a cameo from the roman god Jupiter. Oh, 
The easter egg that we're here for today trumps both of those in the WTF stakes. During chapter 7 you'll come to this area with a small pond. Dispatch of all the guards then head up to the giant crossbow and shoot the statues that I do. If done correctly this will happen. So this is the head of the Roman Emperor, Nero. Unfortunately, you can't interact with the head in any way, and if you get too close, it will sink back into the pond. So it's time for more Goat Simulator now. This time we're looking at the Goat MMO expansion. In the Alvesta area of the map, you can find the mythical sword Excalibur. Well, it's actually called Excali Goat, but what did you expect? It's Goat Simulator. So the sword in the stone isn't particularly crazy. It's what you can do and what you can find with the sword that will leave you confused. When you have the sword equipped, you can propel yourself skywards and with a little practice, even fly. Fly high enough and you'll be able to spot these. So these are giant mermaids, except the top half is fish and the bottom half is human. Quite why they're so big and only seen if you fly this high is anyone's guess. The Titanic movie has been referenced a few times in video games, with many developers choosing to reference the infamous I'm Flying Jack scene from the movie. Well, in the excellent Hunt Showdown, you can find another recreation of the scene, but something about this discovery puts me on edge. So I don't know if it's the eyes of the dolls or just the dolls in general that give me the creeps here, but it's certainly the strangest recreation of the famous scene I've found so far. Up next is another Valve related mod, Day of Defeat. Day of Defeat is a multiplayer first person shooter set in World War 2. It actually started life as a mod, but was then purchased by Valve and released as a full retail title in 2003. Like many of the easter eggs in this video, I'm not quite sure how to explain this one. On the map Flugplatz, you can find a plane that overlooks a field with a very low moon. If you turn around and shoot the sign on the wall, this will happen. So I know of the nursery rhyme where the cow jumped over the moon, so perhaps this is a nod to that. I have no idea why shooting the sign activates the easter egg or why it appears in a World War II multiplayer game. In a video that is full of unexplained easter eggs, this next one may be the one that leaves the most questions. Rage 2 was a strange game. On one hand, it had some of the best feeling first person shooting I've ever experienced, and on the other, it was all inside a lifeless and boring open world. Still, when a game is open world, it always leaves room for interesting discoveries. In the Twisting Canyons, you can find the Shrine of Awa. Besides the fire pit and the teddy, you can find a chair balancing on a stick. Now this may be a coincidence, but after shooting the teddy on the fire pit, the chair started spinning, which made the time in game speed up very quickly. I mean, there's a chance that this is just a fancy way to speed up time in game. Just Cause 4 has random deck chairs placed around the game world for this very reason, but I'm not sure if that's the reason for this location. Let me know your theories down below. The penultimate easter egg is from the brilliant Dying Light. During your exploration of the countryside, you can find two small ditches. If you use explosives, you can find out what was buried here. So in the ditch you can find multiple copies of the DVD Charlie, which is the DVD you had to get for Ghazi in the Mother's Day side quest. That's not all, you can also grab a blueprint titled Mysterious Blueprint. If you craft the blueprint, you'll get this. Yeah. 
So known as the extraterrestrial chicken on a stick, this very powerful weapon can dispatch most enemies in one hit. The final easter egg in today's video is from a game that Skate fans should be aware of. Skater XL shares a lot of similarities with the Skate series, and even though it's in early access, the skating in the game feels awesome to control. Despite the game not being fully released yet, the developers have openly encouraged mods for the game, with loads of user-created maps being uploaded for players to try for free. One of these maps is the Kingwood map created by Pinko, which on the surface of things is a pretty simple skate park. Well, if you try to jump through the wall that I do, things won't seem as simple anymore. So this is a tribute to a fellow map creator and mod developer, Hondoon. Honestly, if this game isn't on your radar already, it really should be. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.